your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Hi and welcome to this week's uh, upload. Um, in this video we'd like to clarify some of the points we came across in the in the last video and to give an update to the information we have um, so far. If you haven't already watched the our video about the new trespass law coming into force then it might be worthwhile if you watch that one first. The first point we want to make is that we're both individuals and the the points we've we made in the last video were just their views. We've personally researched it on our own um, but what we think that you should do is go ahead and research yourself as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, also... Some of the comments we got over over 500, well, more on the 600 comments, um, some of them were picking on certain legal aspects of what I said in the video um, and under no circumstances was I trying to give out any legal advice. I'm just a person that lives in a van doing a vlog. Um, the old point of the video, and I do say it twice in the video, was just to let you know that the law had come into force and um, it was sort of cloak and dagger the way it was brought in. It was brought in, um, it wasn't quite clear that it had come um, into force. And that was my main intention. And I think I've got that across really well. Yeah, I think from, um lots and lots of the comments because we've had so many comments to reply to yeah. read and reply to which you've done a great job mark yeah i've read every comment um and replied to every one of them um, uh, so we really appreciate it we hope you carry on in the future to leave uh, more of the comments and thank you for all the new subscribers and thank you for liking the video um, a lot of the comments that um came through were on similar sort of lines to what we thought um that if you if you've got a knock if you was asked to leave then you should just basically do so there's no reason to argue and to refuse to, to move um, so we, we sort of done a bit of an investigation we went up to the Peak District um, and questioned some people about the the situation up there some of the van life people up there and we also got a couple of comments from um, some people down in Cornwall um, the, these are van lifers, either uh, friends or um, people that have just commented in the comments who are living van life down in Cornwall at the moment. And there was a um, a big theme going on where a lot of people said that, well, if you abuse it, if you abuse the area, then you are going to start getting more parking restrictions and things like that. So, um, like some of the things were um, lots of litter about littering the place and like you said before you always leave an area yeah um, tidier, than it, tidier than it was our particular view is that when we drive away we before we even drive away when we get in our before we get in our vans we look around the area to see if it's tidy when we do drive away um, we always look back in the mirrors to check that there's nothing else left um, and just to make sure that we haven't left anything behind like a chair or anything like that um, because I have done in the past I've left carpets behind my um, carpet that I wipe my feet on getting in and out the van I've left that behind I also left the step behind that I use to get in and out the van which is why I've got that big step up um, so yeah we, we do check ourselves and I, I encourage you to do so the same um, another issue brought up was campfires campfires and barbecues that people are leaving the campfires and driving away or they're leaving scorched ground and um, yeah just unsightly especially on the beaches that people are leaving barbecues and fires um, they're not tidying up the mess they're not leaving it as they as they saw it when they, they arrived and it is also nice to to arrive at a spot that does look um, it does look pleasant you don't want to arrive at a spot with tin cans and fire and bits of wood left there so um another issue was um it was people 
um, occupying the best spots so like the beauty spots or the beach spots and that was a biggie wasn't it really yeah this is probably one of the biggest comments that came across um, people this is long-term van lifers occupying the best spot for and, prolonged time Yeah, just staying there yeah uh, parking up and then staying for weeks on end um, there was a guy Ian and he's he's kindly sent me a message and said I've, I've asked him and he said I could read out that message which we will do so um, and this was his faults because he's down in Cornwall he received from he's... a man called Ian over the years I've lived out of my vans for months at a time chasing the surf for two decades now I'd find out of the way places and never left any trace I'd been occasionally hang out with a buddy with his van now you mentioned the van lifers in Cornwall. There's about 30 of them, sizable rigs taken over the entire car park on the headland at Little Fishrill yeah. <laughs> during peak holiday season. There's open fires, barbecues on the roadside. None of the locals can even park up there for a quick surf or barbecue on the beach themselves. Saw the Parliament Act 77 notices on the vans last week. It's not their place of residence. It is a public facility for everyone. I used to be able to park up there for a night every now and again for a dawn surf. Now I can't even take my van to park on the beach in the mornings on the headland as all vans get a ticket on the suspicion that they've been parked overnight. That's because the last bunch of van lifers ruined it for the rest of us with washing, lines, trash, parties, etc. If you're a van lifer, don't take the piss and ruin everyone else's fun. Most of you will only live this life for a year or two, maybe. For the others, like me, it's something I'd like to be able to do for the next couple of decades. Um so one thing that's also that i found out is there's an area um in new brighton called the dips um and that has um also become there's new parking regulations there there used to be a quite a big van life community there um vans would park on the dips and they would obviously use the local facilities and, and morrisons and buy food but now all the area of the dips has now got parking um, restrictions on. So there's a sign that hopefully Mark will be able to put in for us. Yeah. Um, and it, it, so it's, it actually says no motorhomes, no camper vans. And it also now on this sign, it states no vehicle that has been adapted for sleeping or it's meant to say cooking, but it does not say cooking, which is quite funny. Um, but what the council have done is they've um, allocated an area for um, these vans or motorhomes, but they've put a fee of £20 um, a night, I think it is, on that, which is, to me, it's extortionate. And there's yeah. no facilities. I could not afford that. Um, I may as well park in, um, you know, a, a campsite for that amount of money. So when we went to the Peak District last weekend to have a look at it, because we'd been told that there were some parking restrictions that were going to come in on the bottom road of Mantor. Yeah, we will try and keep you updated on that if that happens. It hasn't happened at the moment, but instead of going um, straight there, we actually found an absolutely lovely park up, didn't we? And it had yeah. one van there. And I don't understand why people are congregating to the same area because that is that will I think become um, more of an issue and the local residents I guess they feel intimidated I would potentially feel intimidated if I lived in a house and there was a whole load of vans parked um, opposite there's a large number of people saying go to Spain Portugal France and enjoy Europe um, because they allow free airs but even on the free airs, you do not put out your awnings, you do not put out your table and chairs, um, you do not put out your sun lounger, and... Uh, yeah, you can get hefty fines, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you, you can be fined for putting out these facilities in the airs in Spain and France and Portugal. I know, um, two years ago I was in um, Portugal and we did actually put the awning out 
uh, and it did go over the pavement and a local came and he, he told us that you must put it down because they will give you a fine um so we did obviously we did straight away yeah um yeah so uh maybe that's another thing you could put in the comments maybe you can explain some of the guys that do this and i think again there's a large number of people that have said it's not right um you shouldn't be putting your awnings out you shouldn't be um putting out tents and tables and chairs and stuff like that, that that's another issue that came across in the comments and this is why we've sort of made this video is to highlight why people think these problems are arising why why van life is getting the bad press and getting the um the problems we are at the moment so yeah the the uh how, how, how do i sort of how do you take that because i don't want to come across as somebody that knows it all and says you must do this because i'm not saying that i'm just putting across my view to say if you're doing this sort of thing then you can't moan if the park ups get closed down in that area. Yeah, it will become a problem if, if uh, for those small people that are caught, uh, for, that are doing this, then it's going to be a problem for the majority of us that don't. Yeah. Um, but when we were in the peaks as well, we saw a group of um, vans that had, like you said, they'd shielded kind of the pavement, hadn't they? They'd enclosed yeah. themselves in. Yeah which they, they tried to sort of protect themselves from being seen by other members of the public by positioning their vans strategically so that uh, people didn't really see behind the vans and that's if you're going to do something like that at least do it with some sort of um yeah that was that plan was of clever. concealment yeah that was a, a, a really good move and uh i think you know who you are and yeah well done for that yeah we would also like to thank all the new subscribers um it's actually blown us away with the the amount of comments we've got like i say over 600 comments um i think over i think over 1200 thumbs up are, um, around that number and uh, that has absolutely blown us away we didn't realize that this this vlog would go kind of so well so, yeah. so high that it that it has done it's just kept the numbers have just kept going up and up a bit of views so i guess you guys have been sharing it as well and it was just it was basically just a highlight that there there is this new that the trespass law has changed from civil to criminal that's yeah that's the main thing is that really isn't it yeah so um if you're enjoying this sort of video um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already press the little notification bell yeah and give us a thumbs up 90 percent of our viewers have not subscribed um yeah 90 percent that's a lot that's it? a lot yeah so if you haven't prescribed prescribed subscribed um <laughs> say that bit again if you haven't subscribed <laughs> if yeah 90 90 percent of our viewers haven't subscribed um which is terrible come that's, on guys that's a lot show a bit people. of support here i think you need to subscribe come on just subscribe do it now cost while you nothing you, while you while you're thinking about it just do it okay so um i think that's a wrap that's a wrap take we've, care by the way we've done this video twice now yeah we had a bit of a, a mishap with the sd card on this one um so we've had to do it twice we might actually be doing it again hope not <laughs> right <laughs> Take care guys, see you.